All right, got most of the cage up now. Just have to put up the little bottom sections here, zip tie everything back together, and these middle sections, and on the top. And we'll be good to go. She's quiet. Real quiet now. <laughs> Killing up the soil from where the tomato cages were that we wasn't able to get to on the first episode. A snake. Then we're going to plant some beans. Three rows of this one, three rows of this one, and two rows of these. As soon as he gets it all ready, like this first row here. space these out is placing a stick in between along the row that's already been left a little trout in trough in so we can put the seeds in it's about eight inches apart and just covering them up. all right we got the beans all planted up here about eight rows three different varieties now we just got to plant a couple tomato plants and we're going to call it a day I'm going to start by pinching off these bottom leaves. That way I can bury the stem a little deeper and it'll create roots to grow off of it. So I'll have a little bit deeper root system than what's going on here. And really, I'm not putting anything in the soil like fertilizers or anything. So last year I had beans growing here and beans are a giver. They give nutrients. So tomatoes are a taker. So we've moved our beans from here to over there and our tomatoes from here from there to here. So, that way this should have some pretty good soil the tomatoes will like and the beans can go over here and start giving back to that soil. So we got a little plant. Tomatoes typically don't like the roots to be kind of messed with a whole lot. So I'm just going to lightly peel back some of this so it doesn't stay root bound. The roots have a good start to kind of start growing out. And then after we do all this stuff, we will water everything heavily. Tomatoes and the bean seeds especially. I'm going to put some of the loose stuff down at the bottom. Generally check my height. Get that rock out of there. So it's about the depth I'm going to go right there for this year. And then this plant will be allowed to climb up this fence as it continues to grow. I just water one or two times early in the season and the rain takes care of it after that. But I do have a water collection, collecting system that I can water with good rain water and I don't have to charge it to a water bill. And the water is a whole lot better. You can see the difference how plants respond to tap water and rain water. Big difference. Now these are called a better boy. I usually use my own seeds, but I kind of like the taste of the better boys pretty well. And uh, they're only like 78 cents a piece for a plant like that, so still not spending a whole lot of money. Okay, 
kind of burying that stem a little bit, which will allow the roots to grow off of the stem. So I'll have a deeper root system to start with. This set of leaf, and as well this one. And then that'll cut down. I'll eventually cover this with straw, but that'll cut down on some of the splashing from rain up on the leaf. And that's where you pick up a lot of your uh, earthborne uh, viruses and diseases for tomato plants is in the soil. <clears throat> so we'll try to cut down on that much possible. We'll have it, but we just have to deal with it. And I've dealt with it for several years and I still, last year we canned over a hundred quarts of tomato juice and had all kinds to eat and give away. And uh, so we're actually going down to less plants this year. These are the other tomatoes we got. These two are beans, or uh, I'm sorry, pepper. Uh, these are all heirloom tomatoes. These are called tomato, and these are a German tomato that we collect year after year. And uh, the tomatoes are really good. They're more of a red tomato, and the German tomatoes are really good on about anything, hamburgers and all that. But they look kind of bad right now, but they're just, they just came up about a week ago. I'll transplant them into bigger containers and continue to let them harden off while they're out to bring them outside from inside. And I'll cut some of these out, and then we, in about a week or so, we will get these in the ground as well in a couple months, be eating some tomatoes. Whoa. Nothing beats homegrown tomatoes. That's right. Nothing like it. All right, guys, that does it for episode two. You saw we got the cage moved. It's in a whole new location. Nice and... Uh, these freaking flies. But we, and now it landed right on top of my camera. Yeah. So we got the tomato cage moved. It's all set up, ready to grow the tomatoes we just planted and the beans we got planted as well. They're all ready to go. So that's basically it. Uh, join us for episode three, which I don't know what it's going to be yet. But we'll get back to you on that. But we'll keep track of how the garden progresses as it goes. If we plant anything else. And we do have some blackberries here. We're going to work on those a little bit. So that's it. So tune in next time. But as always, be sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And remember, be ready.